And welcome to the Collins Moylan Arena, the CMA, right here in Greenfield, Massachusetts. It's time for Green Wave Hockey right here on FCAT Media. Lou Bordeaux here with you tonight. The Mount Everett Eagles made the long ride up from Sheffield to take on the Green Wave tonight. After a one and two start on the campaign, the Wave have gone on a nice five and one run. You know, usually we do a goal recap for you. I'm not even sure where to start this one. But at 3.13 of the first period, excuse me, 3.23, Matt Garvin finished off a Sammy Knight pass. Got the green wave rolling early. Later in the first period, returning the favor, Sammy Knight scored his first one of the evening. Lucas Siano made a nice pass. Pretty much parallel to the goal line. Sammy Knight finished that from the high slot. Two to nothing, just 34 seconds later. Lucas Siano, one of our freshmen, got his second varsity goal. Closed out that first period, it was three nothing Green Wave. Floodgates opened in the second period. Matt Lavoine got his first goal of the night. Assisted by Jack Laurie. Laurie, another freshman sensation. A little bit later on, Hunter Smith made it five nothing Green Wave. That was when Mount Everett changed goaltenders. Took Hunter Shepherdson out, put Bobby Bear in. After Hunter's goal, with 2.58 remaining in the second period, Matt Lavoine found the back of the net. It was his second goal of the night. Jamison Bellino, beauty assist on that one. And as I said earlier, Minute 26 to go in the frame. A pretty, pretty messed up line change by the Green Wave. Afforded the Eagles the opportunity for a breakaway. And Dom Velasco made no mistake. He found the back of the net. So at that time, that made it 6-1 to one in favor of the Green Wave. With 23 seconds to go in the second frame, Matt Garvin lit the lamp. And just as time expired, Jamison Bellino had the puck down behind the Mount Everett cage with his second effort made the wraparound we closed out the second period 8 to 1 in favor of the Green Wave Wave added 4 more in the third period Sammy Knight got his second goal of the night with 12.23 remaining a little bit later on minute 10 later Brody Gagne had gone in Bobby Bear made a tremendous pad save to foil Gagne, but he would not be denied. Came back out front, and he found the back of the net. That one made it 10 to one in favor of the Green Wave. Playing running time at that point, 8.09 remaining. Green Wave were shorthanded. There was a roughing penalty to Jackson LaValle. Jake Jurek, another wraparound. He picked up the puck on his four check. Bobby Bear got Kind of tangled up behind his own cage. Jurek wrapped that around, 11 to one. And then with three and a half to go, Matt Lavoine put the cherry on top of this one when he too made a wraparound. It was three wraparound goals for the Green Wave. And it's gonna be a lot of writing here, a lot of stat culling as the Green Wave take the 12 to one victory. It's been a pleasure to be with you tonight from the CMA. I am Lou Bordeaux. Good night from Greenfield.